If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have our Dynasty Edition Madden 22 Ultimate Team Rewards. Guys, we have 33 in open packs. A lot to get through, so I want to get ripping about it just as soon as possible. So first off, guys, our Poodle Squad shout-out for the day. We have Domino's Cheese Chest, something like that. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. If you're new to the channel and you're loving the videos, subscribe, turn on the noti bell. As always, make sure your YouTube notifications are on as well. And make sure to smash the like button, guys. It helps out a ton. And of course, you want to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad. All you gotta do is like the video and comment down below. Poodle Squad. Now, guys, get into the packs. This could take a little bit, right? We got we got quite a few things to go over here. So those are the solos, those are not the packs. Let's scroll on down to the packs here. And let's see what we're dealing with. So we have an NFL Stars Fantasy Pack, Gold Team Fantasy Pack, 22 of them, Legends Fantasy Pack, Cover Athlete, Brady Mahomes Power Up, some other crap here. So let's start with the, Brady's Mahomes, the Brady Mahomes Power Pack, right? Let's show you the easy ones here. We'll finish up with the Gold Teams probably because those are going to be the fun ones. So we go into this, Mahomes and Brady. Obviously, you can only select one. I'm going to end up going with Mahomes. That's just my opinion. You guys can do what you want to do in terms of that. Next, we have the Cover Athlete Content. So let's click into that pack. Some pretty cool pack art as well, which I do actually, I really like the way the packs look this year. I think they're super cool. So we got um, the Cover Athlete Fantasy Pack. Again, I'm going with Mahomes. To me, that's just kind of the, uh, it's kind of, that's, that's your best bet, I think, in terms of who you're taking. So you got the 88 Mahomes. Of course, you can go ahead and power him up using his power card plus that. You get a little, a little bit of training, but it shouldn't be a ridiculous amount. So that's that. Legend Fantasy Pack, guys. So this is going to be the pack that is going to be the one I'm pretty sure with Dion, Randy Moss, Rodney Harrison, all those guys. So let's get into this one. This pack's really important for a lot of people because it's gonna set this is gonna set up your team a little bit pretty early on. I mean, it's pretty it's a pretty good pack. So good overall. So I'm gonna be taking the Mahomes curated fantasy pack because the one with Brady is Rodney Harrison and Wes Walker, which I actually do prefer um Randy Moss and Deion Sanders. And I feel like most people will. So you open up this pack, you should be getting both of them. So as we see here, we'll probably start with Randy, right? Deion Sanders, okay, Deion Sanders and Randy Moss. Now, if you haven't seen these guys yet, these are going to be the stats. Deion Sanders is a goon. I mean, 88 speed, 88 excel, 88 agility, 86 jumping with above 80 man zone, and play rack is a really good card to start with, especially with 76 catching. Going to make some pretty good plays. And then, of course, guys, we do have Randy Moss as well. Now, the Randy Moss is another goon. I mean, he's not the fastest wide receiver in the game because we have a lot of fast guys this year. I can't even click on him. But um, this Randy Moss has an 87 speed. It's been doing that. It's been, like, glitching out a little bit. Then we got the NFL Stars Fantasy Pack, guys. And I know if you guys are wondering, should I get MVP or Dynasty? I think if you do, if you use the 20% discount, it's so close in price that I'd probably recommend you go ahead and you get the, um, the Dynasty, in my opinion. But if you're trying to save a few bucks, it's still, you know, you can still use it. So as we go all the way down here, let's get all these open. These are going to be the free 83 you do get now. My best recommendation, guys. Some people are going to come in here and be like, oh, I'm a Bills fan. I want Josh Allen. Do not take the player, player with the best name. I'm telling you guys. His stats may not be as good as you think. 77 speed, 89 throw power, 80 throw short. It's actually not a bad card, ironically. But a lot of times people go into this pack and they'll take like the Saquon Barkley. They'll take they'll take players not realizing that they're really not as good as you think. Um, they'll take a big name like Devontae Adams or McCaffrey, but they're too slow. My best recommendation, guys, is take a position that you don't plan on upgrading just yet. So I wouldn't touch quarterback, wide receiver, running back, or tight end. My personal opinion, I would do defensive line or offensive line probably that's it i'll probably do defensive line offensive line so like you can maybe go khalil mack here take a look at him he's got 78 speed with some decent play rack tackle block shit and power move all above 80 not a horrible card like if you know like you want to just build a pretty good solo defense maybe a decent online defense you can go ahead and do that maybe a good user if you find one like i said i'd probably end up taking like a defensive tackle defense i'd probably take like the quentin nelson a defensive tackle a fletcher cox maybe a george kittle if you want to back up tight end guys but you do get a free george kittle this season so i wouldn't do that either Maybe Miles Jack just for some depth. Um, honestly, guys, like I said, Chase Young, TJ Watt, Laramie Tunzel. That's about it. Those are the guys that I'd probably take. Just my personal recommendation. I'm not going to take them now, of course, but I'm just getting you guys know kind of what I want to do here. Now, these packs are usually kind of annoying to open. Now, I'm going to go straight Chiefs. I want to pull some heat out of this. I'm going to go straight Chiefs probably the whole way, so I'll probably have to take a little break here real quick as I do open up 1 million of these. Right, so I accidentally skipped one. We pulled Joe Thune here. Joe Thune decent i'll you know the thing is i hate how these packs open up automatically it makes it significantly harder to actually go ahead and get these but hopefully we can finesse ourselves 
a Tyree kill here. So we got one Joe Thune on the books. Apparently, that's the troll, is that you get a million Joe Thunes out of these packs. That's from what I've heard. That's what Zerk has told me. But overall, I'm excited. I feel like there's a lot of chances hitting the Tyree kill. Now, if we hit on Tyree kill, that, that'd be for, oh, Joe Thune again. It's happening. Uh, if we hit on Tyree kill, I'd be pretty excited. I mean, I'd probably just sell him uh, right off the rip, you know, get some coins for him. Because, of course, he I, I want him. I do. But at the same time, you can make a lot of coins off him right now. And I'm going to get the Jamar Chase. Maybe get another wide receiver there. Uh, I mean, maybe I'd power bomb. I'm probably lying. Regardless of how good the price value is in him, like, he's just, he's good. Tyreek Hill plays good. I, I know, again, but the thing is with this week, this, I don't plan to really competitively play online more than likely. I'm more or less just going to go ahead and probably focus on grinding my levels, getting stuff done. Uh, that's probably the big focus this week. We got Travis Kelsey power up. That's pretty decent there. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have 60 more packs. I'll probably end up cutting a few of these out that are like trash and showing you guys some of the decent ones. But overall, like I said, gold team fantasy packs, you know, they, they come with the game. They're kind of exciting to do. Again, you could go straight gold. But here's the thing, guys. Remember, gold's the first week. Kind of go for a lot because uh, you can also get the rookie players out of here, by the way, too. So you can get like core rookies that go into the set. You could always go ahead and actually um, pull. You can go sell those golds for a decent buck right now because of the state of the sets and exchange stuff as well as the other sets. So don't, you know, don't sleep on that. Also, if you guys are seeing the screen tear a little bit, sorry for that. That's just it's the PC. It's the settings of the game. Uh, that's how that's how it's running with this. This won't happen in any other videos ever again, but it's just, it's kind of a PC thing. Um, just for the back opening. Joe Thune again, guys. So we pulled zero, we pulled no elites other than Joe Thune here. So more, so you could probably expect something similar in terms of like, what's the average rate of return on these packs. It's going to be like lower base leads. But remember, if you pull five Joe Thunies, that's still like, oh, there's another one. We're on number three. If you pull five Joe Thunies, remember, that's still, you know, 50K, give or take 50K. Or you put them in exchange sets, makes better elites. You know, there's still a use for them. Regardless, if you get 50K off that, that's still a decent value. And again, if you hit on, some people are going to hit on Tyreek and Travis. Uh, so don't sleep on the potential of these packs. But again, don't don't expect that you're going to be pulling bangers out of this all time. And again, you don't have to go straight Chiefs. It's just that I feel like Tyreek Hill is one of the best rate on returns here. And he's a lower overall than an 88. So he's going to be one. He's going to be like one of the most expensive cards, if not the most expensive card in the game right now, or will be up there at least. And he's going to be a low overall. So it's actually a higher chance to pull him unless EA has something written to the code where they stagnated. So they make Tyreek Hill more rare than other cards at 87 overall or other, or he makes them as rare as an 88. I really don't know how that works. I know if it goes based on overall, he should be easier to get than other guys. There's another Travis Kelsey similar to his power, right? Like you just never, you always pull every year. It's Kelsey Mahomes, Kelsey Mahomes, Kelsey Mahomes. They're higher overalls than Tyreek Hill. Why is it so hard to pull Tyreek Hill's power up? statistically them being higher overalls as well as being higher overall power-ups they should have an equal chance if not a lower chance on a tyreek uh, or high chance to pull tyreek kill i always found that kind of weird they did it like that that like it gets pretty obvious tyreek kills power up is harder to get which makes no sense because if it's going mathematically he should be easier to get that's why i think that they do stagnate and like assign specific values to certain players like tyreek kill keep them more rare because if by by those odds he should be pulled more than any other 88 and pulled more than any other 88's power up right but we're almost down to the end of these chief packs here. I mean, like you've, you've seen, what, four, three or four Joe Thunies. Honestly, I probably feel like I should have gotten more Joe Thunies at this point. There's some other players in here. You, you can get Tyron Matthew. You can get Chris Jones. You can go ahead and get Kelsey, Mahomes. You can get Tyree Kill. Um, probably missing on one here. Um, I don't know. I'm blanking here. Uh, is there anyone else? Is there anyone? There's, there's, there's definitely a, there's a few elites. I know that. But I'm not, I'm not remembering the bum ones. Not the bum ones, but, the, you know, the decent ones. The subpar. The ones that won't really matter in terms of coin value. At least I think. We're almost to the end, though. Uh, in my opinion, guys, what are some other good packs to open? You could go ahead and select your Rams packs. Wouldn't be a bad, actually, bad idea because you can pull Ramsey or Donald. There's another Joe Thune. You kind of want to go ahead and get the best. So you can go for a team that has a lot of elites. So you can just pull a large quantity of elites. I personally like to go with the teams with the highest rated and highest selling leads. So... Like I said, I would go Chiefs or Rams are probably my top ones, Packers, but Chiefs, Rams, like you can get Mahomes, you can get Tyree Kill, you can get Kelsey, and you can get Donald or Ramsey. So Tyree Kill, Ramsey, and Donald are like three of the most sought after base leads each and every year at Madden and usually hold pretty good value throughout the year. Like Tyreek and Tyreek and Donald's base leads and stuff usually hold value longer than most base leads. Uh, Jalen, not as much only because of his uh, his speed. So he won't hold, like his base lead won't hold the value. He'll be expensive himself, but You'll see Donald and Tyreek Hill's basically more expensive like a month down the line. And you'll see Jalen's more than likely. But they made Jalen a lot better this year than years past. So we can't exactly count on that just yet. But we are near the end of these final gold team fantasy packs here. We have two left. 
maybe oh we have one left actually so that's it for gold team fantasy packs if we don't pull our tyree kill we didn't get anything out of these but i mean you got all that other free stuff i mean the mahomes alone was pretty much worth it because that's a starting quarterback for at least a month give or take uh can we get a basically in the last one no that's about it guys so that's all the packs here again this stuff is other stuff this is really nothing important can't play player fantasy pack if you want to see that you can go ahead and uh this is just from playing the campaign so this is going to be the player that you get and you can go ahead and upgrade him with the uh with the sets and get their basically card but yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like the MVP pack opening, well, Dynasty pack opening, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to be shout out on the Poodle Squad, like the video. And comment down below Poodle Squad. Uh, again, subpar uh, fantasy packs, but again, you guys hopefully have better luck. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.